Okay. It's... Okay, it's... Yeah, it's recording. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, obviously the maps aren't perfect because um, they're not perfect resolution. Resolution, um, but do, do you find anything wrong with these maps in the Book of Sapa? What do you mean? Does it, no, there's no problem. I have no problem with these maps. Okay, so we're. I think we're both familiar what ha, uh, what's been sunken under Japan, right? Uh, say that again. Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to look it up. I don't. It, I don't remember the the exact name. Mm -hmm. Um. So. You're doing this. Um. So. Japan. Um. Under. Sea. Underwater sea. Yeah. Underwater city. Yeah. So. Do you know this place in, in Japan? Uh, you, Jima? Yonaguni, Jima. Yeah, I've seen the pictures. And, yeah. uh, I think it's grasping at straws. I'm not saying that it isn't from Pan uh, cities, cities that were on the continent of Pan. I'm not saying that's not the case. I'm just saying there's no proof that it is. It's, it's possible. But I'm not excited about it because uh, we found some rock, some building structures underwater. That does not, it's not, it doesn't, it's not enough proof. We need something more certifiably evident, evidence that this is actually from the continent 24,000 years ago. It could be something from Japan 15,000 years ago. There's earthquakes, volcanic eruptions. There's a great volcanic eruptions and earthquakes all the time in Japan. So there could be a lot of shifting of land. So it doesn't mean that it isn't from Pan. I'm just saying it's a it's a big step to say that. Yeah, you, you can you can say it, but it's you're grasping at straws if you do. You need more evidence than that. Yeah, but it's well, possible. It, it's possible. Yeah, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying. We don't know that's from Pan. It's possible, but you have to remember Japan has lots of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, so it's quite possible this is just an ancient city from Japan. Over. Okay. So that was eight thousand BC. We carbon dating. I I took an archaeology. Well, okay. Well, that 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 right. Okay. So the carbon dating would prove that it was not from Pan. Because we're well, talking twenty four thousand years ago. Yeah, that's. But you, you got to understand, carbon dating is very rookie. It's very rookie techniques. Like if you like a snail, let's let's just look at a snail. Snail, um, car, carbon dating. So a snail, um, a a, a living snail can be carbon dated up to 27,000 years ago. So this is not, nothing is really proved with carbon dating. No, um, it's it, nothing makes, uh, carbon dating is just not very accurate. Mm -hmm. The, the 27,000 years old, a living snail is 27,000 years. So we can't, we can't prove anything with carbon dating. There, I just think that's the worst technique possible nothing's accurate so yeah well, you're, you're right. 24, so, anyway if you know anything about the history of pan you would know that they don't build they didn't build great big structures and big pyramids they as far at least according to what they said in Owaspi, it was just you know small villages and things and some walls so my my point my conclusion is that this is not from Pan because big rock and structures, that was not the way things were going back then. If, if, if uh, you just go by the narrative. So you think this this is something that the lobster doesn't cover? It's just something from Japan ancient times because the, the Drux, if you believe there were Drux, and I'm not sure that I do, or if you believe there were Ian's, which I'm also not sure there were, neither of them made big structures. 
like this, okay. huge stone buildings. So, okay, from Pan. It's not a, it's, it, I'm not saying, um, not based on what they said in a wasp beat, but. Oh, all right. You, but maybe, maybe there's Pan. some other group. Maybe, maybe I messed up in my history, but. Yeah. I don't think they started building big structures until after Pan was sunk. Then the people of the world started getting more advanced. Any any comment about that? Does it, did you did you do you understand what I'm saying? Do you get my? Does it make sense what I'm saying? Not really. Not really. Well, the Ians built small walls around their villages. It's a small. Ians lived in small villages, okay. And the Drucks were too stupid to build anything. So that means neither of them built this with whatever they found in the water. Does that make sense? Well, it could have been the Ihons who built it. Yeah, but that was that's afterwards. They came later. The submersion of Pan came before they existed. The Ians, I, no, again, I, I don't. Okay. The Ihons were actually the Ihons were 78,000 years ago, according to the Wapsi. They were created 78,000 years ago. Um, so the breeding between the, the drunks and, yeah. Where, where are you getting that information? You could be very right. Oh, 70,000. Where are you getting that from? The Wapsi. So um, how do I open this other tab? Whoops, sorry. I don't want you to see that. Um, I'll edit that out. So seven seventy-eight eight um a thousand years ago. So, all right. So humanity formed seventy-eight thousand years ago. That's in Wikipedia. Yeah, Wikipedia well that's never, that's the that's never, Adam. Never that's, that's the yeah. Those are the Asu, Matthew. Are the Asu yeah, started? The, yeah, the, the Asu. That that that's when the um, the angels uh, with right. the embryonic angels, the fetals. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I can be totally wrong about all of this, and that the Elon started like sixty thousand years ago. I mean, it's quite possible I'm wrong. So, um, I I don't really like to use this, but um, it is the standard edition um so if we go 78 okay um 79, uh, this this is this is when 78,000 years ago is when the the was when esu mated with the um right. the fetal yeah and i have to be honest with you I am not a believer in, in these race things. I, I wrote about it. I mean, I can, if I, if we take the assumption that they did exist, I can, I can talk with you about it. But to be upfront about it is my point of view is they never existed at all. Okay. So what, there's, what's no, there's, no, there's no, there's no skeleton. That, there's no evidence of their bones anywhere. Oh, okay. I, I can, I can actually comment on that. So, all right, we know we know they they went to Japan. We know they went Pardon? to Japan. We know they went to Guatemala. We who, know who are they? Who are they? The, the the ships. The Guatuma was Guatemala. That was Guatemala. That was the that was where the ships were sunk. That's where this the 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 ships were were afterwards sunk for good reason. They were I'm not I'm not saying there were not. people living on Pan. I'm just saying that I'm not sure there were any races different than, than you and me there over. All right. So I guess what I'm trying to say is there may have been ships that escaped the sinking of Pan, but it was, uh, anyway, I'm not convinced yet of the races. Well, uh, that here, made here's, the here's some, here's some, this is what I have to say. Okay, Guatemala is, is a very short country. So, this, according to the Wapsi, from my, my understanding, this is th that's where they they came. 
they, they named it, that country, yes, is uh, Guatemala, but they named the whole Northern Guatemala and Southern Guatemala, North and South America. So the average, well, why are Guatemala, Guatemala so short? We, that's, that's a fact. That's a fact that they're short. They are very small, small people. So we also, we also five know- feet, five, five feet tall. Yeah, what? Five um, feet tall. Uh, every, I, I, every, would say, I would say five feet tall. You could take Europeans three, two or 3,000 years ago and they were probably five feet tall also. Well, rel relatively they were very small. The Dutch are very, very tall. I mean, relatively the, but, the but, Guatemalan people are very, very, uh, Okay. All right. Yeah, we can we can look at this. It says, it says right there, Guatemalans are about five feet tall. I'm telling you, if you go back a couple, maybe oh, not even a thousand oh, years ago, the average height of the male Caucasian was probably about five feet. It's only been as nutrition improved that we got taller over. So five feet was probably average everywhere in the world, no matter what race you were. Over. Uh. Okay. I mean. If, you, if Ian's existed, they're probably like three feet tall, three to maybe four feet, but certainly not more than four feet tall. Oh, so, just look at this. All right, you see pan that uh, you see pan that um shape right there. So that's that, according to the Wapsi, that's where all the short people should be, on the mm -hmm. outskirts of the Ring of Fire. Okay, they should be. Say that again. They should be. What's that? Please say that again. So pan is where the boats left. That's where the short people should be. That's where the Ihoons should be. You um, understand? That, and I, I, can prove, I can prove that these countries are, um, have, have the shortest people. The Ring of Fire has the shortest people. Now look, 20, now this, this link. All right. They're, they're all at, I don't know where that is. Um, a Timor, that's that's eight. Timor, Timor is the short, shortest people. I don't know where this is. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Um, the, we'll, we'll, we'll just take a look at it. Ring of Fire, uh, yes. I'm not, I won't argue with you that there's well, a lot of people. Ring of Fire, there. yes. Mad well, Madagascar, did they say it? Well, Madagascar, the Africans uh, went to, um, do you remember? That was Ham that went to Madagascar, right? I don't think they ever so mentioned Guatemala. Madagascar. Here's Guatemala, the fourth, the fourth smallest breed of people in the world. Okay, Philippines. That's the Ring of Fire. That uh, is very yeah. much Ring of Fire. Nepal I, is definitely the Ring of Fire. Well, I'm, I, oh. I think I know what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I understand. Uh, Yemen, I don't think so. Yemen is not really Yemen is. Near Dubai, um, Bangladesh, that's Ring of Fire. Near the Ring of Fire, it's more closer than India. Mm -hmm. Marshall Islands, Marshall Islands, Ring of Fire. Uh, Cambodia, well, that's, it's near Vietnam. Indonesia, yes, very much the Ring of Fire. Actually, they, um, and I know you don't agree with me, I know you don't agree with this site, but it's, oh, it's okay. um, study. I can, I can be wrong. I can be wrong. So, no, I don't. Okay. I don't usually read this this guy's stuff. You know who did study of Wapsi? Who? Who? What are you talking about? Uh, study Wapsi dot com. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he, he actually did. He this this guy actually who did study Wapsi is is doesn't seem the most unitarian guy but he's actually very he's very intelligent um uh, i think i think he's i think he puts the cart before the horse or he's circumstantially ta he's tangentially reasoning from things that may or may not be true he, he looks for a shred of evidence well look here this the shape of this letter looks like it's sanskrit and this proof and this Looks like so. That means the the Panic language. So that means Sanskrit's from the Panic language because of this curve in this one letter. There's two or three characters that look alike, and that means therefore we have proof. So 
I think he goes overboard and tries to reason things, which he, it's not as logical. In my opinion, he's not that logical, but go ahead. Okay, so here, here's uh, well, I really want to, before we declare him as a, as a, as a, a, a logical researcher yeah. and thinker, I'd like to talk, I'd, I'd, I'd have to talk about specific cases where you yeah. say, look, this is what he says. I, I don't want to talk about generalities because that's not fair to him either. But if you want to talk about direct evidence, where you, and if you look at the Japanese sunken uh, building foundations that you were talking about, like I said before, Japan has a lot of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, and a lot. There's a great, there's great reason to believe that city, ancient cities have been have collapsed into the sea around Japan, and those buildings are not have not been identified as being older than 24,000 years so it's and i and i think everything you read about Nawaski about the ians um well let's do some research i, I admit i cannot recall exactly when Huan started i thought it was after the sinking of pan but if i'm wrong i'm wrong um I feel like I have to look it up now. Yeah. Well, it's, something happened to his site. I, I, it, you can't read everything on there. You have to enter a password or something. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. It's changed then. Yeah. I well, think let me. Okay. This is going to prove it. I'm going to look up the city of a wasp. Is that right? Oas, Oas, the, the, the city of the sun. The sun city. I can't stay on much longer. We've, we're gonna, my wife and I are gonna take a walk, but let me just look that up right now. Sun, the sun kingdom. Uh, duh. Oh, it, it is a loss. So my spelling is correct. The only thing I don't know is when it happened. Ah, so this, so I guess I am right. I could very well be right, Matthew, because it talks about Zarathustra, Asha, Asha, Asha and the king of a loss, the city of the sun. That with Zarathustra, that was after the sinking of Pan. So any big city, there's no mention of big cities being built on Pan is what I'm trying to say. I thought maybe like o o the Wasp, the city of the suns was perhaps on Pan, but it's not. No, o it's, in Persia. it's in Persia. Wasp is um, Persia, yeah, that was Zarathustra. Right, so there's no real history of big cities ever mentioned in the Book of Lords or something about Pan being this developed huge temples or anything. It, to, everything I read was always, it's just really, it's the Drucks living like, you know, cannibals and it's the Ians living behind their walls in small villages and nothing really got built very big. So Wait. that's why I say, the, 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 that's why I'm saying the foundation rocks found around near the edge of Japan seas it's not very likely to correlate with that. So this, the, this guy's in total agreement with me. This map right here, you, do you see this map? Okay, so that was Guatemala. You know, that, that's Guatemala. Here's Pan right here. And um, we're close to each other. Japan, China, India, the Ring of Fire, Africa, close to each other. It might've been Madagascar, that um, yeah, I'm not arguing that there wasn't, I believe there was a continent pan. I'm not arguing against that at all. Yeah. I agree. Well, I agree. The, it, it's very big because, you know, that could be um, Mu, the continent of Mu. That could be, you know. I, I agree. I've, heard, I've written about it. I've written about it. I agree. Who, who, who was it? Aris, it was it Aristotle who, who, who talked about the one over. Um, uh, Atlantis. Yeah, Atlantis. Who, right. We don't we don't know what Aristotle really meant. Um, 
No one knows for sure. I mean, you can't it, it, definitely say 100%. I, I don't know where we're going with this, but um, I'm not debating with you. I agree there was a continent of Pan, and uh, the Ring of Fire is an example that Japan's a remnant. Yeah. And I'm not disagreeing with you in any sense that there was uh, a continent so that here. people lived on it. Look, look the at only this thing I'm here. questioning is, were there really a bunch of pygmy people called Luians on it? Were there really drugs on there? Maybe? Yes, there were. Yeah. It, that little Wapsi does say. I know Little Wapsi says it. I, but my point is, I believe <laughs> that it may not have been true that... Um, the reason, and I've written about this in my book, because there's no, there's no archaeology that supports them ever having been there. That's the yeah. problem right now. And, and Neanderthals, they have no, they've never even talked about Neanderthals on a wasp, but yet there were tens of thousands of Neanderthals. And we have skeletons of those, yet Neanderthals are never mentioned in a wasp. So I think the race thing was sort of a, wild speculation from spirit world well or, you know i, I don't usually go to this i usually don't go to this website but it's actually very accurate and what i know uh, what, what, what you have here is accurate this yeah. i'm not arguing that pan existed i'm not arguing with you at all i think you're right i think he's well, right yeah yeah i didn't think we were arguing about that either yeah we're not I, arguing I about that. we agree yeah we just agree we so, agree um, that it was pan yeah, uh, I'm. I'm just disagreeing that there's the Eon fleets. There were boats, but were the Eons? I'm not. I'm not sure there were any Eons. Do you see right here? Can you read that right there? Um, distinction yeah. of the five Eon fleets. Des destination, Pan. destination, I should say. A, a destination. So. B e s t. Just like I said before, we know it was Guatemala. We know it was Japan. Do you see right here, mm -hmm. Japan? Now I don't know what this is. This is probably not. Uh, that's uh, Sakharin. Okay. Northern. It's now, this uh, is island off Russia. Cambodia. Um. This this area is Bangladesh. Um. Yeah. This is Ethiopia. Not so much Madagascar, but but Ethiopia. Yeah. Yeah. So we. Just look at it. You'll, you'll, you'll look, you'll see. He, he he has this really ancient, like he, the Ar, Arpithidius Ramidus. He's like says it's three feet tall. This, this, these these skeleton remains, they are from like a hundred thousand years ago, two hundred thousand years ago, before, way before Asu. So this is the contradiction. In fact, these skeletons are even a contradiction of Waspi's theory of uh, human development. These skeletons and these—if you look up when these guys lived, if he, if he showed you where, where were these skeleton remains, when did these of these uh, creatures live? It was like hundreds of thousands of years ago, a million years ago. You know, they, they, I, 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 they, they do not correlate at all. To say those were eons or something is totally yeah. preposterous. Like I remember, I'll do it right now. I'm going to do it right now. Our Pythesius Ramidas. Arthur, I'm going to write that in. I'm going to say when do these when do these skeletons exist? And I'll bet you they're like two, three hundred to a million years ago, which is way, way. Well, that, that's carb, that's in carbon dating. That's like saying a snail is like twenty seven thousand years years then old. Then there's no science. I'm sorry. Yeah, there, there's. I agree. There's no science at all. <laughs> well, then we shouldn't be talking about it because no, the carbon dating but is the, not that. But good. There, Carbon dating is not good. It's just not good. Uh, uh, we'll have to have another t topic discussion about that. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take it from there if you want to. Ard pithesis. Ard. I don't want to really argue with you anyway. Ard yeah, I don't, I don't. This is like, this is not a, like, I'm, I never try to argue here. I, this is not like, I'm yeah. not trying to argue. Uh, with you. I'm, well, I'm trying to bring out things to the that, table. Yeah. Look at this. 4.4 million years ago. You know that skeleton that skeleton that this Owaspi study guy in? It says oh, what Wikipedia for over four million years ago they lived. Four yeah. million. You realize that we Owaspi's got them like eighty thousand years ago? And this and they say, no, they existed four million years ago. And yeah. here's the guy from this site. Here's the guy from this study of Owaspi site. He's trying to draw 
he's trying to use these guys as evidence that the Eons existed because based on these small skeletons. And it just, it blows me away. Four million years ago, <laughs> carbon dating or not, that's a big difference. So, so Matthew, that's why this, it's, that's why I say this guy is not really scientific. He's just throwing things out there and throwing shit against the wall and hoping it sticks. But that's, yeah. it, it's ridiculous. The, the one thing that, I was, the, the one thing I was trying to prove was, was the location of Pan and where the five ships spread outward. That they were the small Ayun people, that their genetic links um, associated with. Um, the problem is that if everybody's five foot tall, that, that's pretty much the whole world at that point. Because if you go back a thousand years, people were not six feet tall. They were five feet tall. So it's, it's not really saying anything to say, well, people in Mayan, Mayans are five feet tall. The, so what? Because a thousand years ago, Europeans were five feet tall, I'm willing to bet. It's just the recent past few hundred years that people ended up being average of past few generations, people have been six feet tall. You know? All, so all, all I'm trying to say all I'm trying to say is around the ring of fire, that's where the short people have the tendency to, to be. I um, I don't agree with you, but I don't want to I don't want to belittle your point. I understand what you're saying. I yeah. don't agree with it, but I understand what you're saying. The reason I don't agree is because everyone was five feet tall. Well, if you go back in the time, people were just shorter look, in the past. I think the Dutch are the tallest people. The Dutch, Pardon? the Dutch are the t one of the tallest. Um, right. The Africans uh, are very tall too. Uh, um, if you go back a thousand years, the Dutch were not six feet tall on the average. I promise you, they were like five feet tall. It's only been in the last. We're 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 just talking about now where the shortest people live. Not not like an av We're not looking at an average. We're just looking at at this immediate point of time. Right, but that's where the shorter but if people. If you go back in time to when the when the ships sailed, everybody in the world was that height. Everybody was the same height, short compared to today. So it doesn't really, but I, but Matthew, I do agree that I think there were ships that sailed from the, the pen. I, I agree. I, I, I don't have a real argument to say why I think there were ships. I think because of all the fables and legends about the sinking. Of, yeah. Uh, there's so many different people that have cultures that have this story of the, the flood. That I, that's why I think it's true. That's, that's what I, that's, the Indians, Native Americans have stories about the flood. And they're all right. over the world. So I really believe the country was I mean, to say it was just in the Epic of Gilgamesh, that, that's re really ridiculous. It's like very naive of scientists to say that. It, it was everywhere. Everywhere <coughs> was a story of the flood. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree with you. And I think that's good evidence. If, it's tr if everyone in the world is saying it, there must be a reason why everyone came to talk about a flood. So that makes sense to me. So we, we definitely agree on that. Yeah. Um. So you know, a lot of these, a lot of these plates, I can get into. Like, um, you know, and I have something to say about it. Like, um, the tree of language. I, it, to me, it seems pretty accurate. To what language? That this um uh, this right here, this this tree. Oh wow! Okay. Um. Yeah, it's got some problems. I, I did a, I wrote about it, and it's been, it was a long time ago, maybe a year or two ago. And uh, uh, I agree there is such a thing as a tree of languages, sure. But I'm not sure this is, it's, I don't know how accurate you could say this was. Over. Well, yeah. I like, I like the words. I like the, uh, the writing from this uh, unpublished version. I like it. It's just very poetic and beautiful, I think. Over. Which, which one are you talking about? The words under the tree. The, the tree of languages chapters. Oh. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I, I can't prove everything is true, but I find it very beautiful in the way they describe. Oh. But I've written, I've written a chapter about each one of these pictures. I've written about it. And 
the it's way off as far as scientific linguistics go. It's not true. It's true in general, only in a general sense is it's true. But the way it's organized, the languages, that's not true. It, it's, sci it's scientifically unproven. This is not true. It's not real. So, but, there is, but the concept is true that languages evolved from one another. That's true. Over. Um, <laughs> please read my book. <laughs> yeah. To well, understand why I say that. I, I, all I can do is like dig it out and start reading it now. But yeah. Um. Well. You know, these uh, languages, I think, I don't know, like, to me, I, to me, this, um, I, I, I just, I, I know it this, the so-called science that man has done um, with the carbon dating, with uh, certain uh, it's just very confusing. It doesn't make sense. And then they come out with the thing of like, how did your eyes uh, evolve? You know, they're just, they're really dumb. The scientists these days are just really dumb. Um, I mean, how, how do you think the, the eye evolved? But the Wapsi talks about that was the first thing that came, right? It's more complex than that, but yeah, I, I, I see, I see where you're going. It's certainly the eyes is, is evidence against evolution. Yeah, and I agree totally with you in that sense that this, the science has gotten things wrong, completely wrong in the past. It's gotten things completely wrong in the present. So I, I think you're right about that. that I'm, I'm just really, I'm wrong. very hesitant of carbon dating. I'm very hesitant. Uh, of carbon I have dating. to do more research on. It. I'm, I'm willing to do research on it and then talk to you about it later. But I, I, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying. Boy, that's quite an idea for me to, to grasp if they got it wrong, because I've never heard that before. But. Well, we're, we're dealing with uh, carbon dating was within the last 200 years, right? I mean, how, how do you yeah. measure something like carbon dating um, for the last two years? It's, imp let, it's let impossible. Me, let's do, let me do some research and we can get back to this. Um, I've got to go now. Oh, okay. Take a walk All right. with my wife, Chica, and... Um, anyway, I hope this helps someone somewhere if you decide to put it on the internet. I'm sorry if I sound incoherent or biased or I'm not like a know-it-all or something. I don't want to. I, I acknowledge that I can be wrong about everything, even if I didn't sound like I, <laughs> I don't sound like I believe it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true about me. I, I've been... I, I'm the type of person who um, is always e earful oh. Oh, yeah. of, of new things, and yeah. I'm always willing to grasp those. Yeah, he's. I like. He's saying that he's saying that Neanderthal is a drug, but the drugs have long arms. Neanderthals yeah, have right. short arms, so it doesn't match up. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll, I'll keep going. Yeah, I saw that. I, I didn't really. I didn't really know. Um, the the drugs have long arms, yeah. Right, and these Neanderthals are known for having short arms, so it doesn't work. Uh, big torsos. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's too. So that's why I don't think this study of Waspy thing. He's just grasping at straws and trying to make it work. He does a lot of research. Yeah. But you, but it's it's like taking a bunch of pieces to a puzzle, and they're from different puzzles, and trying to make them fit. Yeah, and some of the pieces will fit, but then he just tries to draw. He's just trying to support all the. He's just always trying to support what's in a waspy, and I find that it's better just to be open to the idea that some some things in a waspy may not be true. And when mm -hmm. I accept that idea now, because if Nubro is willing to change a waspy, to take parts out and put parts in, then we have to say to ourselves, well, what is true? And in some ways, the scientific parts really don't matter. What matters is the spiritual ideas matter more than any of this. So we're kind of wasting our time maybe even debating whether the Ians existed or not, or, or whether they went on to live in 
the ring of fire. It's, it really doesn't matter. What matters is what can we do to make the world a better place based on the core values of a wasp bee. I think that's what I want to discuss with you more. Yeah, there's, I there's find, a lot of things making the world a better place. Technology is, you know, yeah, a lot of things, but... Uh, I, I mean, if you go to, if you look at what the faithist groups are discussing, they're just, they discuss exactly what we discussed today. And it doesn't matter whether, I mean, it does matter, I think. We, I mean, what's the truth is, but we'd be better off trying to discuss how to make the world a better place based on the, the core ideas of OASP. That's what I think. Well, also, I, I well, think that we can, I mean, if you read the WAPSI and certain parts of it, it gives you invention ideas and it, it one thought leads to another, leads to a bigger oh, okay. thought. Well, I agree that the idea about limit, li, limitless energy with the vortexes and uh, maybe Tesla, 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 and there seems to be a correlation there. I'm not, I'm not against science research and saving the world through limitless energy, but it's the, it's the uh, conflicts that are in our society and how to form a society, a community that works together well. That's what I think our, <coughs> that's what I think where our mental uh, question should be leading us. How can we learn how to live together in peace and love? Yeah. And service. So I, I really think, I think that's going to be my next request is that if we do any kind of conversations, it should be, how can we, how can we have the world live together in harmony? Then, then it might get into politics. Um, no, no. Well, it could. Well, maybe it will, but I hope not. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to start rat. If no, I don't think so. It's how can I'm not talking about reforming society. I'm saying how can we form our own better society? How, not an American society, not a French society. Nothing political. Not Democrat. Not Republican. Just form a better society, a community. That's what I'm spiritual society, the spiritual community. How can we do that? Is it possible? Is it impossible? That's what it, I want to know. It's possible, but I think capitalism has some flaws just like... I'm, I'm not even going there. I'm not even going to capitalism. I'm saying forget everything that's ever been tried or done. What can we do? Is there anything in philosophy that will help us become a better society? No. Hey, got a little thing up. We're going. I'm Bye. going. Bye. The wife's fed up. <laughs> gotta go. See you. You gotta go too, huh? Bye. <laughs> All right, bye. Thanks, Matthew. Bye. Have a nice week. Oh. Yeah. It's, Have a nice week. You know, I, I like well, to agree, but not always agree not to disagree, but to agree. Because it's very hard with the faithist here, the current faithist. Yeah, I find I can talk to you easier than most people. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. Okay. Stay okay. well. Talk Have a great week. You too. Talk to you later. Bye. Talk to you. All right. Bye. Okay.